Once again, welcome back to The Breakfast here on PLOS TV Africa. It's now time to share with you what happened today in history. And of course, I'm going to be talking about something, um, it, it's, it's, a, it's a mixture of, you know, love, and crime. There's no love involved and, in this one. No, no, I, I believe, you know, there, there is some love. You know, there's love, there's crime, there's foolishness. And then, of course, there is, you know, dating sites, you know, all in this story. <laughs> so this is, you know, about, you know, people who are tagged the Lonely Heart Killers. Um, uh, Marta Beck and Raymond Fernandez. Raymond Martinez Fernandez um, are their names. They, of course, on this day were executed in the electric chair at the Sing Sing prison in New York. The couple had schemed to reduce, uh, rather to seduce and rob and murder women who placed personal ads in newspapers. So this is how it works. They basically came together um, as a team to look out for people who place personal ads, you know, looking for relationships, looking for love, companionship in a particular newspaper. And then, of course, seduce those women, rob them, and, of course, killed some of them. Um, of course, uh, they claim to have killed as many as 17 people. Evidence says, you know, they... You they posted killed. about yeah, Exactly. It was probably only four people. But I, I'll tell you a little bit about Mata. Ma so Mata Beck was uh, seen as, you know, a little overweight or extremely overweight per, uh, woman. And by our reports, you know, she may be a little untra unattractive. And so she had registered in the Lonely Hearts um, uh, page to hopefully find love also. And uh, she was seeking, you know, um, a relationship from the Lonely Hearts uh, Club um, at the back of a newspaper. Ray Fernandez, after World War III, this is about these two different people, had a brain injury during World War II, suffered, you know, severe migraines, and also, um, you know, you know, wasn't, you know, didn't see himself as very, very attractive. He then became a petty criminal and wore, you know, a toupee to cover his baldness. Um, after the injury uh, to his head in World War II. Um, he, of course, it started in 1946 with his first victim who he killed. And then a little while after that, he met Marta Beck. He also met Marta Beck through the same process, you know, where he was, you know, um, stalking people on the Lonely Hearts page. He met Marta. Um, had the same plans for Marta, but unfortunately, they fell in love. Oh, that's the love part. Yeah, that's okay. the love part. So okay. they fell in love and eventually didn't kill her or rob her. But at some point, he then told, okay, this exactly was my plan initially for you when we met. Um, she foolishly liked the plan and decided, oh, let's do it together. And so they went into that business of seducing all the women. So anti-international women. It's totally day. crazy. Ah, <laughs> they went God. into the business of seducing old women <laughs> and, of course, robbing them. Uh, by 1949, I believe they had killed two people. One of them was by accident. One of them was intentionally. And their Waterloo eventually came when he met a younger woman. Um, at that time, they started to play the role of brother and sister. That was their, their scam then, that they were, um, you know, siblings and all of that. So um, Fernandez was meant to be the lover of the younger woman, but she mm -hmm. didn't buy their story. And so she didn't get married or get into a relationship with Fernandez. It was taking too much time. And so they mm -hmm. killed the woman and her daughter. Uh, police eventually found out, arrested both of them. And, you know, that's it. They were eventually sentenced to jail. They had hoped, you know, that they wouldn't get the electric chair. And so they had, um, you know, pleaded guilty, looking, you know, for some uh, leniency. But in New York at that time, there was the electric chair um, law, you know, in place. And so they, they were killed. Mm. You see, this story reminds me of a 2020 movie by Tyler Perry, A Fall from Grace, really. Even though they say it's a work of fiction, it's basically, it sounds a lot like the story yeah. where a man and a woman, either his mother or his partner, they plan together to basically kill other people, they actually go after lonely women, pretend to fall, in, the man pretends to fall in love with the woman, gets married to her, robs her of her, all her money and kills her. That's exactly what happened in A Fall from Grace. But the great thing is that eventually, you know, justice was served, you know, in both issues, in real life and in the movie. Yeah, so. I'm trying, to, trying to clarify, there was also a movie that was made of these two people. Um, in it was 90s, called yes. in 1969, actually. The movie was called The Honeymoon Killers. Yes. It was yes. about Fernandez and Marta Beck. Ooh, today in history. So they basically got uh, what they deserved according Absolutely. to law. They got... Uh, the, 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 chair? Electric chair? the electric yes, chair. Absolutely. Okay. So today is March 8th, 2021. And on this day in history in 2018, women in Pakistan gathered for the Orat 
march or the aura to walk. So in Pakistan, women, you know, face lots of societal ills. They face discrimination. They face, you know, a deprivation of their, of their uh, uh, fundamental rights, you know, um, amounting to what some experts have called sexual apathy. You know, so they, they basically face all these issues, you know, including serious crimes like appropriation of rights and abuse for revenge. So on this day in history, March 18th, March 8th, 2018, women and men in Pakistan held the first or at walk to demand for accountability for violence against women and to support, uh, you know, and to demand support for women who experience violence and harassment at the hands of security forces in public spaces at home and at the workplace. And since 2018, it's become a major event for the women's rights movement in Pakistan. And this year, the Orat March is themed women's health crisis, and it's to draw awareness and attention to the adverse effects of COVID-19 pandemic on women in Pakistan. But the irony of this situation is that for a movement that's demanding women empowerment, these people face constant opposition. I remember watching videos of this particular aura march or aura walk and seeing lots of people, lots of extremists, pelting stones at these women and basically trying to, you know, to, to, to break the crowd and disorganize the protest. You know, some, some journalists have even gotten critically injured because, you know, stones that were thrown at the women, you know, hit them. It just goes on to show the level of opposition to women's rights and empowerment in many parts yes. of the world. And also a quick reminder that uh, one of the most famous activists in the world, Malala Yousafzai, um, is from Pakistan. And, you know, her story started in Pakistan also she because of the- She got shot in the head. Yes because of the you know, same discrimination that we're talking about and uh, um, you know, suppression of women in, in Pakistan. So um, it's a, it's a never-ending conversation, and it's a great day to talk about this. I want this, it to you know, be an ending conversation. I want us to get to a world where we you know, stop talking about, I think that's SDG 5 that talks about gender equality. So I want us to be able to, they set the goal for 2030 to achieve that, but I want us to be able to achieve that world where we don't have to talk about women, you know, gender pay gap and gender inequality yeah. because we now live in a world where all these things don't exist anymore. Right. But yeah, that's what happened today in history, uh, 2018, March 8th. The first Orad March in Pakistan in Pakistan began when women, women started to fight, you know, for and ad advocate for rights and empowerment. And I went back to 1951, March 8th, where uh, Fernandez, uh, Martinez Fernandez, and of course um, Martha Beck were both executed on this day after their murderous um, reign you know, over you know, women in, in the United States. That's all we have for you today in history. We'll be right back after this very short break to move into our first discussion for today. Buy one, get one free, as it has been uh, said, or buy one, get five free <laughs> from the CBN is what we're talking about next. The CBN's policy that when you receive uh, money from, you know, from, um, um, you know, outside Nigeria, uh, for every dollar you receive, you get five Naira. And of course, it's meant to encourage more diaspora remittances here in Nigeria. But we'll talk about it after this break.